Don't worry. No more PVC stuff. Until next week. Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. You may be aware that I collect items related to a specific superhero character whose color scheme is dramatically off-brand for what you might expect from me. Something along the lines of... might seem more appropriate. But no, I enjoy this guy. And he does come in black from time to time. Now way back in February, when I was working on the channel trailer, I actually had to make a few of the props or examples of things that I was saying the channel might eventually feature. One of those was this, a little hand-painted superhero logo. So I thought we'd just take a few minutes and see how that was painted. To get started, I'm just opening some little 3x3 three three canvases we have. And for my actual paints, I'm just going to use the paints from this little mini easel kit that's been sitting up in our craft room for a few years. It's a pretty cute kit, little tiny paints, and it even has like a little zipper pouch that you can put the paints in and take it with you. I'm not really sure the thought process on this, I mean these paints really aren't going to last for more than one or two projects, but it's still really cute all the same. The first thing I'm gonna do is just trace the design onto the canvas. Someone with far more skill could hand draw the pattern on, or just not even use one, but I'm definitely gonna take the assist, and to get the pattern onto the canvas, I'm just gonna use a good old sheet of carbon paper. The carbon paper left a really great outline, it's super easy to see on the canvas. To start I'm just going to paint in a blue background. I first grabbed the light blue and it was way too light for what I was going for. I tried to darken it with some black but it just turned into a weird navy gray. But luckily the kit had a dark blue so I went with that. With the hope that I could still darken it a bit more further down the line. Painting in a uniform direction, working with those brush strokes, as I wasn't sure how prominent they would be once the paint dried. I then ended up using that navy gray mixture to make a bit of a vignette, which in the end just turned into more of a vertical gradient. Next I went in and did the red. And then the yellow. It's looking really flat and I want to try and inject some kind of dimension into it so I go and attempt some actual shadows. And just that little bit of darker red really does bring it to another level. To finish it off, I want to do a bit of a drop shadow on the whole thing. I tried using a paint pen for this, which really didn't work out. It was too shiny and it wasn't matching the other paint, and the tip was just too big, and I, and I didn't have the kind of control I was hoping it would have given me. But I just worked through it, corrected my mistakes, and it 
came out okay. Well, that is all there is for this one, just a simple little painting, something I don't do very often, drawing and traditional art doesn't really come naturally to me, so I have to work really hard at it, but it is fun and I am pretty pleased with the final result, so my sincere thank you for watching once again. I am Nick D. Clements, if you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for Doomsday. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. Yes!